Hey there. All right, so for this video, I wanted to uh, dive a little bit into uh, process improvements. So I'm going to do a few uh, videos on this topic uh, throughout this week, maybe longer. You know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but all businesses should be looking at improvements in some way, uh, small or big. And there's different methods I, I've talked about before, different tools you can use to document your improvements. But it should be something that's continual, something that's looked at. Um, you know, in brainstorming, there's technically nothing as a bad idea in theory, right? But that's brainstorming. You want to get ideas thrown out there. Um, and then you can look at the board with all the ideas and then eventually, you know, get down to, to what you're actually going to need and use. Uh, but the reason why I want to bring this up is... I've done many process improvements, either as a team lead, a part of a team, or just assisting in putting together um, a slide deck with, you know, show the different quality tools, um, which will go to uh, leadership for their review. And out of all those many improvements, millions uh, were saved. And oftentimes, improvements is only considered money savings, and uh, it's not always, in, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you don't always have to save a lot of money to to uh, consider it an improvement. I wanted to throw that out there. But another thing to think about, depending on where you work, what you do, you're probably busy, and you consider improvements extra, and I don't have time for it, right? Maybe. Could be true. But, you know, when you are doing something and you are bringing up an idea as an improvement, is it an actual improvement? A lot of companies are moving towards lean. There's still a lot of companies out there that does Six Sigma, but lean is out there to look at different wastes in the workplace. And oftentimes, you know, we want to try to... Um, lean what we do we want to look at ways we could automate uh get rid of errors um an example recently that came up which is the reason why i want to talk about this is that an improvement was brought up to supposedly improve a process that was being done but it would have actually quadrupled the amount of time to manage that that process because the individual didn't want to take ownership and accountability of the requirement. They wanted to make it easier for themselves in theory, but it wouldn't have made it easier for everyone else in that process. So oftentimes, and I brought this up in previous videos, training is important. So <clears throat> if you have documented process something that tells the employees what to do they need to know it they need to read it they need to understand it they need to ask questions if they don't <clears throat> coming up with a potential improvement that is being identified as an improvement for that process because you may be um i hate to use the word because it, it, it may not actually be the case because everyone's busy but i, I you know you don't want to be considered lazy, right? Which it could be seen that way. I want to make it easier for me. But have you taken the time to actually read and understand the process? If you would, you would see that it's really one click and you're done. I was talking to folks today and, you know, pokey oak, uh, you know, I'll get into that later on. I've, I've already brought it up previously, but that is to um, find ways to make something error free, to do it one way only. There's plenty of examples out there and I'll, I'll probably put together a slideshow on it. But you could pokey oak something. But to put in a lot of effort to do that may not be worth the output. And 
another word I don't really like to use, but you can dumb things down too much sometimes. Pokey yolk is great. You want to make sure things are easy to, to, to do, uh, you know, error free, you know, one way of doing it. Um, you know, you don't have to click through all this stuff, maybe depending on what it is you're, you're, you're trying to achieve if something like an online system. But if you have a process already and it's an online system and it's already a relatively simple system, use it. Take your time. Read and understand the requirements. Ask for assistance. Instead of having other people take more time out of their day or days to recreate something that you think might be easier, but in the long term is the exact opposite of lean. Okay, so I just want to throw that out there because uh, I see it as an issue. An example just recently came up, but it's been something I've seen many times. I've seen a lot of awesome ideas brought up, but uh, every process improvement has to be looked at for feasibility. Not every idea will work long term because you may have to put more into it than you get out of it. So you have to remember that, right? But again, training, understanding requirements is important, all right? And then you can look at those requirements, that, that document, that process, and see what can I actually improve out of this that will be beneficial to more than just me, but to my team, to my company, to my customer and our client, right? So again, this has kind of been a long spiel, but I wanted to put that out there because I think it's an issue. Because I've seen it in more than one company, in more than one country, and um, it's a problem. And uh, you know, we, we want process improvements to be something that's positive and not a negative. All right, don't use it as a tool to make only your life easier when it really won't because you're not doing X, Y, and Z the right way because you're busy, you don't have time, right? Depending on the size of the business, you wanna make whatever you're improving beneficial to everyone, right? So you have to think bigger in long term. All right, so I just wanted to throw that out there. If you have any thoughts, any ideas on it, I'm sure it's a hot topic. I'm sure everyone has different opinions on it, different thoughts. Uh, I just want to throw that out there. All right, so have a great day.